Hi there and welcome to Hyundai Power Equipment. My name is Adrian and today we're going to look at servicing your HYM 460 SP lawnmower. Let's get straight on with it. The air filter is located behind this cover here on the front left hand side of the engine from the operator position. To open the housing you will see that there are two plastic lugs on the top and you simply need to push the two plastic lugs and you can pop out the air filter. The air filter is this element unit here. Um, I'm going to replace this one straight back in. So you will notice that on the bottom of the cover are two radius hooks. And these simply hook in over these little bars at the bottom of the air filter housing. So to replace the air filter, simply place it back in the cover, place the two radius bars over the bottom, and push the housing back up into position, making sure that the barbs lock. And there we are, that's how to change your air filter. Let's move on to changing the spark plug. Firstly, allow the engine to cool because this exhaust here is very close to where you're working and you don't want to burn yourself. So, first step, remove the spark plug cap. Just pull it off gently, it does click on quite well. Don't pull it off in this sort of manner because there's a danger that if it gives way suddenly you could tear the pla uh, spark plug cap off the lead. So just pull it out gently and tuck it to one side. So I haven't removed the cap, on with the spark plug spanner, put the bar through the handle and loosen the spark plug. Here we are, we've undone the spark plug, we've got it loose, so I'll unscrew it the rest of the way by hand, anti-clockwise. To replace the spark plug, simply screw it back into its hole, Use your fingers to do this, not the spanner, and it should go in very easily. So screw it in until you feel resistance. There we are. If you use the spanner, there's a likelihood you could cross-thread it and damage the thread. So use your fingers to tighten it up, uh, to put it back in, and tighten it up with the spark plug spanner. With a brand new spark plug, it has a compressible gasket on the bottom. So from when you tighten it up, it may well be three quarters of a turn, something like that, to compress the gasket until it's at its final position. So having replaced the spark plug, place the spark plug cap back over the top and push home firmly. And that's how to change your spark plug. So I'll move on to changing the engine oil on your lawnmower. The engine oil um, can be removed from this machine in two ways. Firstly, I'll remove the dipstick and the engine oil has to come out through the filler neck. Um, that's the simplest way to do it on this machine. So the first thing you'd want to do is to run your lawnmower for maybe 10 minutes or so just to get the engine oil warm. Um, switch it off, remove the spark plug cap. I always say remove the spark plug cap just to make sure that it's, there's no way that it can start if anything gets bumped or what have you. And then tip the lawnmower up in this sort of fashion and you can pour the engine oil out through the tube into a suitable container. Probably best if there are two of you to do it like this so that one can hold the container under the filler neck and basically pour the engine oil out until no more comes out and that will be the engine oil drained. Alternatively, you can actually use an extraction pump to suck the oil out of the engine. I've got an extraction pump here. Um, these are available from our parts department. Um, and the way you do it here is to simply put the tube down inside the lawnmower and then, a bit like a bicycle pump, you can suck the oil out. This one actually hasn't got any oil in it because I've, uh, I've just had it upside down and what have you. Uh, but yes, a uh, little extractor pump is probably the simplest way to do it and the cleanest. It doesn't make any mess and what have you. And simply by pumping this a couple of minutes and you can suck all the engine oil out already into its container. Okay, so having removed the engine oil, you'll need to refill the engine oil. Now to refill the engine oil, we recommend either a 1030 or a 1540 engine oil. Now, this machine takes around 0.6 of a litre, something like that. So fill up the engine oil gradually, uh, maybe a couple of hundred mil at a time or what have you, and then measure it with a dipstick to see where you are. Now, when you pour oil in, Allow it time to go down the tube and into the engine because th there is a risk if you go in too quickly like that you could be just measuring the oil that's still in the tube and giving you a false reading. So allow it time to drain down 
and then you'll be getting a true reading. So to take the, the reading, simply place the dipstick down onto the top without tightening it up and pull it back out to take the reading. Now you'll see on the dipstick that there is an L on the very bottom, I'll give you a close up of this, then a cross hatched area and then the letter H. The correct level will be when it reaches to just sort of the bottom of the letter H at the very top of the cross hatched area. Um, so I'll give you a close up of the dipstick itself and show you where the oil level would be. So here you can see the letter L at the bottom, the cross hatched area and the letter H. I'll show you the correct level on the dipstick. As you can see the oil level is now just into the letter H but not above it. Above the cross hatched area just kissing the bottom of the letter H but not above it. So that is the correct oil level. I'm happy to replace the plug. So the blade is here. I've removed the spark plug cap uh, for safety because it's possible if my OPC handle is caught on something or what have you um, that as I'm rotating this with my hand undoing it the, that the engine could start. So safety first. So I'm wearing gloves to do this uh, because it's a sharp blade and all the rest of it and I don't want to cut myself so I recommend you wear gloves. Um, first thing to do is remove the central bolt. Now this is fairly tight and with a 16mm socket there and a half inch ratchet just loosened off the bolt. Now before I remove it completely, let's have a look at the orientation. You'll notice in the blade that it has a square hole there and it more of a circular hole that end um, so that you can see the square lugs underneath and the circular lugs underneath so it can only go on that way around in this plane. However, it can still go on upside down, so this way around. If you will see that there's a lozenge shape facing down towards the floor and on the other side there is a hollow lozenge, this side is an outward pointing lozenge. So on the back there is writing and a hollow, I always have the lozenge this side with the writing facing the mower. I'll finish removing the bolt I'll take the blade away. One other thing you'll notice is that the washer on the bolt has a concave side or hollow and a convex side or dome side. The bolt goes in through the dome side when you're fitting it back there in case you drop the bolt and the washer comes off. The bolt head dome side with the hollow facing the lawnmower. Square hole and an elongated circular hole. Elongated circle here and a square there. So with that way around, lozenge facing towards the floor. That's the location of the blade. And again, concave or hollow side facing the blade and in with the bolt. I'll just put this in finger tight to start with. And there we are. 16 mil socket on a half inch ratchet, wearing my gloves and tightening down, compressing that washer to flat. And giving it a good bit of welly, but not being ridiculous, a good bit of welly, I've tightened up that main bolt. Now, if you do have a torque wrench, the specific torque settings for your machine can easily be got from our uh, service department. But if you're using a half inch ratchet, really good and tight is the general rule of thumb. Um, you don't want your blade spinning off. Um, ideally, you would set it to the correct torque setting. I do hope you found this demonstration on servicing your lawnmower helpful. For any more information on your lawnmower or any of our other products, visit HyundaiPowerEquipment.co.uk. For any of the parts I've used in servicing the lawnmower, you can contact our parts department on 01646 687880. I've been Adrian and happy mowing.